Now, when we're talking about multiplication, are you, give me, serious note, you need to be, you give me a look, you give me a look, and what are you writing down? Don't give me a bad look like you're trying to stare me down when you're not even writing down the answers that I'm giving you. And guess what? I've been so nice, I've actually left up all the answers up there. So you can still go back and write those down for you, okay? Can you slide? No, he was trying to stare me down. He was trying to stare me down. Now, and when you guys are multiplying radical expressions, I told you guys to simplify, right? You guys can see over there. I said simplify, simplify before you multiply. You don't have to, but it makes the problem a lot easier. When dividing, I kind of say the opposite. I say go ahead and divide if possible, and then worry about simplifying. So if we were to going to use our rules, if you guys remember, the rule that I said is when you're dividing two radical expressions, you can rewrite them over the same radical. So now, what's 48 divided by 3? Um, 16. 16. What's x cubed divided by x? x squared. What's um, 0 divided by y squared? y squared remains on the bottom. Square. Now, do I know what the square root of 16 is? Yes. Yeah, 4. 4. Do I know what the square root of x squared is? X. x. Do I know what the square root of y squared is? Done. Finite. 